Hey, Jim. Welcome back, girl. I know I'm in the same outfit, but it's okay. We're going to get you this two-minute Tuesday. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming back. If you do not know who I am, my name is Felicia of Gold Mining Coco. I am the owner, founder, CEO, all those great things. But over here, we don't just sell you stationery. We promote a lifestyle of sophisticated fun. So today, for our two-minute Tuesday, I want to talk to you about the necessity of rest and why it's so important in your life now if you know me and if you've been following me for a while rest is hard for your girl it's not something that i do i am a proud workaholic i'm always about my business however i recently took a trip to gatlinburg with my family where i was able to actually get some real rest and i'm not talking little rest i'm talking massages every other day naps in the middle of the day naps at five and not waking up until 11 p.m I truly, truly rested. But some of the things that resonated with me while I was getting rest and really understanding why I needed it, um, I want to share with you. I want you to be able to have that same rest. So my tips today, take them real personal. Number one, communicate that you need rest. One of the most valuable things that I took away from that trip with my family was telling my husband on the way up the highway, I just need rest. I, I, don't, I need to be able to say no, and I need my no to mean no, and my yes to mean yes. I don't want to feel guilted. I don't want to feel pushed into doing any activity that I'm just too tired to do. I need the freedom to say, hey, I need to take a nap. I need to rest, or I need to do this for me. Communicate your needs to the people around you, because so many people do depend on us, but they don't know that we're worn out. They don't know that we're stressed, and they don't know that we're tired, because we don't open our mouths and say that, all right? Number two, when it comes to rest, you got to get those things out of your head. So another thing is while I was there getting a massage, the masseuse rubbed on my neck. She rubbed around my throat and she said, hmm, you hold a lot of stuff in that you should probably be saying. So what I want you to do is when you feel like you're holding stuff in to spare other people's feelings, write it down and burn it. Let me tell you, I started and it's working. Okay. Get it out of your system. That's why when you go to bed at night, you're like this. You're so pent up. You can't relax your shoulders. You can't shake it off because there are things that you are holding inside of you that you need to get out. It doesn't mean you got to let everybody have a piece of your mind. It just means you need to have somewhere where you get those things from here and here and put them on paper. And if you need to burn it, burn it. Right. If you need to send somebody an email after you to revise it 20 times, do that, too. That is also a part of rest. Number three, incorporate something within your routine that fills your cup. I don't care if it's walking. I don't care if it's yoga. I don't care what it is, but you need some sort of silent meditation within your day to day as it concerns rest and self-care that allows you to center yourself, right? So when you do that, if you do it before bed or when you wake up, it allows you to truly have restful sleep. It allows you to release those negative energies that you've been holding on to throughout the day. All of those things will find you some sort of outlet. Pilates, yoga, walking, bike riding, skating, whatever that is, you need to look into something that fills your cup and that fuels you. So those are my three tips for Two Minute Tuesday. Now, I may win a little bit over by two minutes, but I really hope that this resonated. I hope that it helps you. And I'd love to hear down below what are some of the things that you plan to do to incorporate rest and self-care within your routine. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you on the next Two Minute Tuesday. Bye.